Hello, my name is Acidico Portal, and welcome to my next YouTube video. In today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about join surfaces and weld constraints. So, what I've basically done here is I've have not put these together in a model. There is welds inside of it. So, what are welds? Welds essentially can connect the parts together, but also they're not suspended. So you can have a part connected to another part. But the difference being that to say anchored is that when you anchor something, I also have collisions enabled, by the way. But say if I anchor this, the misconception is actually, and I kind of vaguely misrepresented this, the misconception is that anchored itself is stuck together, but they're really not. But if I turn this off, as you can see, the anchor is no longer there, but they're still connected to each other. This is because both parts are connected in a sense. So for example, these parts down here, if I lift it up like this and if I slam it on the ground, it was kind of glitchy there, but you see what I'm saying. It didn't break or anything, right? I can still, you know, move it around and drop it and whatnot. But as you can see, I didn't do that because it attached these together as well. So if we keep doing this, we can keep doing this kind of motion. And if I unanchor all of these, as you can see, they're still all going to be connected to each other because they all have that function. Pretty cool, right? So essentially what I'm going to do in today's episode is I'm going to actually be doing something a little bit different today. And essentially pretty much what I'm going to be doing is building a house. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use the classic Doomspire weapon to destroy the house. First of all, when you're doing something like this, you want to make sure that you're not actually in game. So I'm just going to build for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes or so. And I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you can learn something out of this.
All right, so this is the finished product. So as you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. I just, as you can see, I was like destroying it and all that. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. I accidentally muted myself earlier and I'm terrified I'm going to do it again. So let's, let's not do that. But anyways, that's pretty much the rest of the video. But, you know, it's pretty simple stuff. You know, you can destroy it. Do all sorts of stuff and uh, hopefully you can create something out of this. It's really not that hard. All you have to do is pretty much just have this enabled. You don't have to have collisions enabled, but that actually can be inconvenient for building and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you have any questions, uh, just list it down below and I'll be I always answer stuff so you know if you want to make a doom spire you know game or a game where you just destroy stuff crap and all that stuff this would be kind of the good way to do that is make an engine where everything is breakable like this so yeah that's pretty much about it I was actually kind of I thought this how little house is cool it's not really much but you know I ended up, instead of doing it for 10 minutes, more than 20 minutes. So, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.